in this video we will discuss that how to design a 8 cross 1 multiplexer using 2 cross 1 multiplexer only so only 2 cross 1 multiplexer we have to use and design 8 cross 1 multiplexer so for this let us first quickly write the truth table for the 8 cross 1 multiplexer 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 so for this there will be one output that is y and the values will be i0 i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 and i7 okay so now the question is you have to design a 2 cross 1 multiplexer now i know that a 2 cross 2 cross 1 multiplexer can take two inputs and one output with one selection line so for that what i'll do i'll divide this multiplexer two table into part of two because i can take maximum two inputs at a time okay so now that is divided so first what will happen see here so i0 and i1 this will i'll give you to one two cross one multiplexer okay so if i give this to a two cross one multiplexer Okay. So, 2 cross 1 multiplexer here. In this case, here one selection line will be there which will taken as S0. Why I am taking S0? You see here, S0 is 0, 1 for this. So, I can use S0 here. Okay. Fine. So, now the second set of two inputs, I2 and I3, I will give it to another 2 cross 1 multiplexer. For that also, the selection line will be S0. So, I4 and I5, I can give that to a 2 cross 1 multiplexer again. So, here also the selection line will be S0. Then I6 and I7, I can give that to a 2 cross 1 multiplexer again. And here the selection line will be S0 again. Okay. Now, how many outputs I have? So, I have Y1, Y2, Y3 and Y4. 4 outputs I have. So, a0 selection line I have used here. Now, what I will do? I will take this two y1 and y2 and I will connect that to another 2 cross 1 multiplexer here and y3 and y4. So, why I am taking 2 cross 1? Because the question it is asked that I have to use a 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Fine. So, this will give me two outputs here. Now, you see here S0 is 0 here and S0 is 1 here again s0 is 0 here and s0 sorry s1 s1 is 1 here so now to here if i give the input as s1 the selection line is s1 okay so what will happen whenever this s1 is equals to 0 both the cases it will be 0 then what will happen it will select y1 here and it will select y3 here fine now if now, if this S0, S1 is equals to 1 and SM also will be equals to 1, in that case it will select Y2 and here it will select Y4, right. Now, we can, now we have two outputs. Yes. So, S1. Now, we have two outputs. Finally, if I give that to a another 2 cross 1 multiplexer here and the selection line if I give here S2 the final output will be 1. So, why S2 here? You see here S2 is 1 in this case, 0 in this case and it is 1 in this case. Fine. So, this is 0 in all these cases, this is 1 in all these cases. So, whenever S2 is equals to 0, then this part of the circuit will uh, means active. Then when S1 is equals to 0, then only this part of the circuit will be active. So, this part means only this multiplexer will work here, this one. Now, when S0 is equals to 0, then I0 is the output. When S1 equals to 1, I1 is the output. So, I1 will come to Y1, Y1 will go to this, uh, this uh, section and this will again appear at here. So, like this, the I1 can be transferred here. Now, if I take that S2 is equals, let us say 1 here, 1 here and 0 here, S0 is equals to 0 here. So, S0 is equal to 0. What will happen? So, if S2 is equal to 1, then this will be selected. Okay. So, this will not be selected in that case. Now, if S1 is equal to 1, so what will happen? So, now 
this upper part is not in my consideration okay so if s1 is equals to 1 now then obviously this part will be selected okay so first this part and then this part will be selected after that if s is equals to 0 then what will happen this i6 so th for the last one if s0 is 0 it will select the first first input so now i6 will appear at the output so see here if the input is 110 so s2 is 1 s1 is 1 and s0 is 0 so that is the same case that is here now the output will be i6 in this case okay so this is how you can design a 2 cross 8 cross 1 multiplexer using 2 cross 1 multiplexer let us now draw the circuit cleanly so i have 2 cross 1 then another 2 cross 1 so another 2 cross 1 there will be 4 2 cross 1 multiplexer in this case 2 cross 1 2 cross 1 2 cross 1 and 2 cross 1 so what are the inputs here here two inputs are i0 and i1 here two inputs are i2 and i3 here two inputs are i4 and i5 and here the two inputs are i6 and i7 so to all this what selection line i am connecting so let me take a another color here so to all these two cross one multiplexer i am taking one selection line so just one selection i will connect to everyone and that selection is nothing but s0 so next what we are doing so this output and the second multiplexer output again we are putting in one two cross one multiplexer here okay and this output and this output again we are putting into a two cross one multiplexer here fine and what uh, input we are giving to this what selection line we are giving here s1 okay now these two output are connected to final stage of output 1 2 cross 1 more here s2 will be given and the output will be y so this is how you can design a 2 cross 1 8 cross 1 multiplexer using 2 cross 1 multiplexers